Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be checking out these chairs from Octane Seating. I want to do a more uh, thorough review of these because before I bought them, I couldn't find any. First and foremost, now this is the Flex HR. I love this design, but what I wasn't sure about was the material. Was I gonna like it? Was their top grain leather gonna feel good? I knew I did not want bonded leather. It just doesn't hold up. Uh, and overall, when it comes to the material, I have to say it's pretty solid. It's super soft. In fact, if I had to complain about it, I'd say that it's so soft it makes me worried I'm going to rip it. That's probably not the case, but it has a really kind of supple feel that makes you hesitant to abuse it. Now, this particular model is their top grain leather, but it's like a leather match, meaning that on the sides and rear of the chairs, uh, there's like a synthetic leather that you don't touch, but it's just a, you know to save them some money, basically, so they're not putting real leather on the whole chair. They do make some of these Octane chairs with bonded leather, and those I would avoid at all costs. You know, they come in multiple pieces. So for example, this first chair has two arms attached to it and the next two chairs only have one arm and they just kind of push together. They do not lock together. They just rest in place and you fit them kind of snug uh, and it works okay. I'm on pretty fluffy carpet, so they're not going anywhere. All right, so next up, let's talk about the electronics and that means power recline, the lighting, the, uh, uh, the power headrest. We're gonna talk about all of that. The LED lighting, super cool. I do use it all the time, but the strip along the bottom edge is way, way, way too bright, in a, especially in a, in a small theater setting. But just be advised, you're gonna wanna tinker with that a little bit because it was just way too much light coming at the screen. I thought the power headdress was gonna be an over the top feature I didn't need. I was very wrong. It actually turned out to be super handy and comfortable in your recline to be able to push your head forward. One thing that does bum me out a little about the power recline features is that when it's time to get out of your chair, you have to slowly wait, you know, you press your button and you have to slowly wait for your chair to come back in, <laughs> which seems like it wouldn't be a big deal, but in practice, if you have to get up and down a couple times because you're at home, it's not like you're in a theater where you're camped out, uh, it's a little slow. I wish that there was like a manual override something I could pull to just quickly put it in if I didn't want to deal with the power options, but uh, at the end of the day, not that big of a deal. Now, there are five buttons on each control panel with this particular model and with many of the other models from Octane. I was actually kind of annoyed that, the, that they weren't labeled in any way, so you have to memorize what they do. I actually made a couple labels uh, for two of the buttons that were the most important, the recline and the uh, lighting feature just so that I could learn what was what and get used to it. Now working back to front, the rearmost button is for the LED lighting. So that's for your cup holders and the LED strip that's at the bottom front of the chairs. The next two buttons are for your power headrest. One is up and one is down. And the next two buttons are for the power recline. You do memorize these pretty quick, but I have to say not having them labeled in any way is kind of annoying, especially for guests who are coming in. And sitting down for the first time, they're not gonna know what button's what, and they're just gonna have to push a bunch of stuff until they do what they need to do. And inevitably, they'll end up moving their headrest forward in the seated position, which is super awkward. <laughs> I really would have preferred that the controls be up near the cup holder somewhere. Although if I had to guess, they didn't do that because the likelihood of spilling a drink or food or something into those buttons then becomes a whole different issue. So I think I understand why they put it where they did. Now we're gonna talk about accessories. And this is one of the things I really liked about these chairs and, and certain other manufacturers of, of theater chairs do the same thing. Uh, there are these little spring-loaded ports here. And those allow you to drop in accessories to your chairs. So tray tables, popcorn bowls, um, phone and tablet holders. This again seems like it'd be kind of an over-the-top silly feature but I've actually got really used to having my phone holder, which I actually made custom, and the tray tables. We also ordered some popcorn bowls, which um, have like a little peg in the bottom, so they sit right in there, and you can just wash the whole thing. Overall, I'm really liking these chairs so far, but there are a couple things that I have to mention that came up right out of the gate. Uh, upon delivery, 
the chairs all looked like they got here okay, which I was I had read some reviews. I wasn't sure if that was going to work out. It did. Now, one the back of one chair had a bunch of scuffs in the synthetic leather material. You can't see it from this angle, but it just looked like it had been beat up a little bit. Uh, Octane was pretty quick to work with me um, and, and get that corrected, so that didn't end up being a big deal. The other issue I had is that there's a weird... The mechanisms on these chairs seem pretty good. They seem pretty solid. But in the center chair, which would be my go-to chair, uh, there's a weird click that's in the mechanism that doesn't sound great. It happens like when it, the chair is going up and down. Um, it hasn't caused any problems yet, but I'm going to have to keep my eye on that and make sure that it doesn't become an issue over time. Uh, and that leads me into my one of my final points, which is the warranty. If you guys are going to buy from Octane, you really need to take time to read the warranty paperwork carefully because there are some loopholes. The material is only covered for a year. Ooh, that doesn't leave you feeling very confident. Uh, it's probably okay and probably normal because it's like something you sit in. How can they warranty? Some people are going to live really hard on them. But it just doesn't leave me feeling pumped about, about how durable this is going to be. And I hope I'm wrong, and I hope that that's just them saying, hey, we can't warranty this because some people live really, really hard on their furniture. Uh, there are other parts which are warrantied longer, but when you start to read the warranty specifics, you realize that the, it kind of feathers off. So when it comes to like replacement parts, for example, that have failed, uh, you're covered for the first year, and then on the second year you're covered a little less, and then the third year a little less, and then eventually they're only covering like 20% of the part cost, and then eventually the warranty is kapoof, gone. Uh, I think it's four or five years the warranty is, is totally done for. And the last couple years, if I remember correctly, they also don't cover labor of the repair. All of this to say, I wouldn't abuse these, and if you're going to abuse them, uh, you need to be aware of the warranty limitations so you don't go in expecting that they're going to repair something five years down the line that they're not. So I want to take a second and just talk about some of the non-invasive modifications I made to these chairs just to get them dialed into my liking. The first of which was these cup holders. On this model, the cup holders only came in black and that kind of drove me nuts. So I stripped these uh, and then got a rubber insert for the bottom so that they were silver. And that's not just for aesthetics. When you're in a dark theater-like setting, you want a bright cup holder that you can see in the dark even even though these are lit around the outside, it's not quite the same as being able to see into the middle. So I really prefer a silver cup holder in a home theater. So I stripped them and did them up. Next up, none of these armrest storage containers have a shallow uh, area to put remotes. So I made a little insert to go into one of the, the far armrests to just to hold remotes. Uh, with some leather wrap over top, and it creates a nice shallow shelf where you can set your remotes inside of the armrest and quickly get them out without having them all the way down in the super deep cubby. Now I will say, the fact that the storage in the armrest is so deep is awesome. It's super handy. I just I needed one that was not that deep. Now, you heard me mention before that the LED lighting on the front of the chair is just a bit too bright for my liking. So I had some rubber... Uh, some rubber strips that I think were cut off of an old gasket. Anyway, I made an eyebrow to go over about two-thirds of the LED strip on the front of the chairs, and they're just zip-tied in place uh, the same way that all the electrical is zip-tied in place underneath the seat. That little eyebrow just cuts down the amount of light that that blue LED strip can kick out. As far as I'm concerned, that particular modification is a must-have because those LEDs are way too bright in a small home theater setting. They're going right toward your screen. You've got to find a way to uh, knock down their intensity a little bit. And making just a simple rubber eyebrow um, that just zip tied in place, you know, seemed to do the trick perfectly for me. Now finally, I whipped up my own uh, phone holder. Octane makes a phone and tablet holder and I just wasn't totally into the design and I wanted uh, to make one that had multiple hinges so I could really position my phone however I wanted and I wanted a smaller footprint overall. So I whipped one up out of a, uh, uh, out of a spare peg uh, from one of the tray tables and this basic adjustable $10 iPhone holder that I got on Amazon 
all aluminum, so it works it works quite well. Uh, and for just a few bucks, this is a this is a good if you're into doing a little tinkering, this is a very good accessory to have on hand. The tray tables, the popcorn bowls, all the other accessories are great, but I really wanted something a little different for the phone holder. So overall, what do I think of the chairs? For the money, they're a pretty good value. When it comes to, you know, power recline, home theater seating, there's a lot of luxury brands where price is no object and this stuff is outrageously expensive. These are one of the few options that live beneath that price bracket where it's still a nicely made piece of furniture, um, but it's not costing you an arm and a leg. You don't have to live in a mansion to buy a set of these. So they're pretty good. I have a few nitpicks, absolutely. This is a lot of money for me to spend on a piece of uh, furniture, but you know, most of those are small things. And so far I'm really impressed. We'll see how the chairs hold up in the long run uh, when I do my follow-up review down the line. Now I bought my chairs through theaterseatstore.com and they've been pretty good to work with overall. Their delivery times run a little long because these are like, these need to be kind of freighted <laughs> and you can't just ship these with UPS. They're massive and they're heavy. So yes, delivery is a little long, but overall they've been They've been pretty solid and the Octane website has a pretty good set of functionality. If you wanna look at the Flex or other models, you can kind of mock up your layout and see specific dimensions at different angles and they have all the dimensions to let you work all of that stuff out and put together um, different options between different models depending on what you're looking for. So that's it fellas, the Flex HR from Octane Seating. I like it so far, I'm hoping it holds up in the long run. Please subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and uh, I'll catch you later. Thanks guys, bye.